Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zullin Iron Shield. Alright you guys, on this episode today, we are going to talk about where do you start questing? Hmm, well, that is a good thing to know. And it, sometimes it can be kind of challenging in Lord of the Rings Online to know where do you go next, right? Well. The good news is, is I'm going to try to show you a streamlined way of how I usually quest. And this is basically what I'm doing in the Lord of the Rings Online, um, our voiceover a playlist, right? This is a Lotro Guide playlist video we're making right now. But my Lotro Tale playlist that we go on our voiceovers and we travel through the world questing, this is basically the questing path I take. Um, wow, there's a lot of people here in fancy clothes, I see. Interesting, something's going on fancy. Very nice, very nice. We're having uh, some event going on. Yes. Well, I'm in the middle of Breland, so that is expected. Now, anyway, moving on. We basically, in this episode, I'm going to talk about streamlining the leveling, right? Where you need to go, what place, what level, what places are, what regions have what levels, right? That is the main thing. So, what we need to do is, I will link, by the way, I'm going to use this info from the Lotro Wiki. It really has some really good info. So uh, let me just pop it over real quick here so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, this is the Lotro Wiki. This is a really good resource, you guys. You should check it out. It actually shows where to level, but I'm gonna try to simplify it for you guys and talk about it real quick in a pretty short video here, but in more complex than I did in my map, advanced map video that I just made. And then look, you can see questing areas and stuff as well. So let's talk about this real quick so you guys kind of know. Here's the things you have to know. You, if you're a completionist and you want to do every quest, that is fine with me as Zone Iron Shield. I do that too on my main character. But if you just want to level quickly and you have, you know, your blue essence and stuff, you can do it very streamlined and you don't have to do every quest. For one, you want to stay on doing the chapters, quests, all right? So there's different kinds of quests you need to know, right? There are um, regular quests that every NPC gives you. There are um, also your introduction quests, and intros and there's the chapter book quests and then there's quests for your class which are very uncommon the quests for your class but they do happen they happen at level 15 30 45 and 50 right that's you'll get a, a quest for your class and it'll give you a, like a point towards your trait tree if you want to know about trait trees check out my video on traits um so i'm only i'm going to focus very hard on just doing the leveling and not giving extra info for this video so we're going to move on here we're going to start with where do i normally start well if you start as any of the four races, there are four different starting spots. Again, this won't always matter too much because you can choose a different spot. There's always going to be an introduction little bit for the first level or two where you have to finish a couple quests inside an instance, basically, or a dimension. Where once you're out in that, you're in the real world and then you can choose where you want to quest. So as a dwarf, you're going to pop up in Thorin's Hall is your questing area. But you can quest somewhere else. The elves are going to pop up down here. And let's remove these so we can read it. Kalumdim. Kalumdim. And they'll be do that. It'll be their beginning quest area. And then for the Shire folk, I believe you start in Michael Delving later. Or actually, no, no, I take it back. I believe the hobbits also start in Archit. So humans start in Breland, Archit, and so do hobbits. And then usually hobbits are sent to the Shire to do quests, right, later on. So... We need to know how to do this stuff real quick. So let's go through this as quickly as can. What I normally like to do, no matter what race I play, is that I do my introduction, and then I start over in Arid Louis, and I start in Thorin's Gate, right? So Arid Louis is from levels 5 to 15, right? This whole area. Usually, when you start a quest, they'll lead you in the next quest. For example, if I get quests and I do the quest here, at a certain point, they're going to give me a quest that'll lead me down the valley, into the Vale of Thrain, which is this area here, which I thought I could click on, but for some reason it's not letting me click on it, which is very interesting. But anyway, it leads you into the Vale of Thrain to go to like Noglong, and then um, you do quests in this valley, and then it'll give you a quest to go to Gondamin, and then you do quests, and usually if you do that, you'll stay on point. Sometimes you can skip certain quests if they seem way too hard. Now, again, here's the important thing to know, guys. For one, there's a thing you can go here, you can go to your wallet, you can go to perks, You'll earn perk destiny points while you level up and in other, a couple other ways. But 
I would only save these and use these for accelerating XP and maybe a couple of the basic like you know movement speed boost or something at 50 points. Save them up for this because they give you extra XP while you do quests, killing things, and turning stuff in. It's a blue bar. There's also another thing you have to know with questing is that that bar down there. I'm max level, so that's why it's grayed out. It says level 130. You are at cap level. But normally there would be an orange area for what I'm leveling, a gray area that just means I'm not finished yet, like this bar shows here right now. And there would be a dark blue and a lighter blue. The I believe the darker blue is if you're rested. So if you're in your house or you're in a big city and you wait and you don't play, there's a certain max level of extra blue, dark blue you can get. You can stack that with the perk at um, this one, Accelerator, which is the light blue, you can put on top of that. So you can have both those extra XPs to get a little boost on how fast you level. Granted, you're going to get through that in like one level, and then you're going to have to wait for another day for those perks to be back up, or for your leveling, or just level like normal, get normal amounts of XP. It's just good to know to have a little more boost of XP if you want to go a little faster. You can also have items that give XP boosts, right? Some of my characters have it because I have expansions that give me special items that give me bonuses for questing and stuff. That's kind of nice. It's on our main character on our Lotro Tale series. All right. I know I'm speaking extremely fast, my friends, as a dwarf. Please forgive me and hang on to your seatbelts because I'm trying to do this video quickly and lots of information for you guys where you can tr follow what I'm doing, but at the same time, you're not sitting here for in an hour, right? So I like to start in Arid Louis, Arid Luin, I mean the Blue Mountains, and it moves me along. Sometimes you'll do a couple quests here, but really these quests are the same level as the dwarf quests. So I usually don't do the elf quests. You can do the Shire. You don't have to do the Shire. You can pick and choose what areas you go to, guys. Again, the chapter quests help you with that, like the book quests and the chapter quests, because they'll guide you to go talk to, to Aragon and different people. You need to keep track of something when you're in your quest tracker, right? The little ring down here. I do a whole video on quest tracking, too, if you want to check that video out, the guide, to be less confused. But basically, the thing you need to know is there are different colors. For example, and it tells you your level here. So like right here, it shows level 100 in parentheses. So this is a level 100 quest. I'm 130, so it's gray. Because if it's nine levels, I believe it's nine levels under you, you get almost, you get XP, but it's pitiful amounts of XP, right? Very low. Where if I did a quest like this, now again, I'm max level, I'll get no XP turning these in. I would just get deeds and rewards from the quest, whatever it gives me money or, or item XP or whatever it gives me. But if you were leveling still, right? I would get on level XP for this. If you do ones that are orange and red, those quests are like four or five levels above you. For one, you shouldn't be in that area yet. You should be in a different area. You should wait and hold on to those quests. That's why you can have multiple quests at once, right? But, um, and if they're grayed out, unless they're a, a really fancy like chapter quest that you really don't want to lose, for example, um, let's see if I can find like the Black Book of Mordor. This is actually how it says chapter 10.3. It's 120, but I keep it because I've never finished this. And this is actually like this main story of Lord of the Rings Online. So I keep them to do for later. But otherwise, you could just delete the quest. If it's just a basic quest, like, you know, go fetch my eggs, a Hobbit quest. You're running out of room because you only have a certain amount. You can increase this in the Lotro store, how many quests you can have at once. But you don't really need it if you're doing it properly. They give you enough slots even on free-to-play accounts to be able to handle it, right? So this is all very good information to know for when you're questing to think about, too. So on-level stuff is usually going to be, um, you know, it might be, I think it's like light gre or green and light blue are lower than your level, white, and then there's like orange, red, and there's like dark purple, and then it's just like danger, this is too high level kind of thing, and gray is, it's way under you, it's going to give you like no XP. Sometimes you want to keep it because sometimes those quests, those great quests will do a link. Basically what I mean by that is if you turn a quest in, let's say, Butterbur, right? At the prancing pony he might give you a quest to go to someone else but then it's a higher level quest because it's like a chain but you could have only got the next quest from butterbur if you turned in that lower level great quest right so those are all things you have to think about when you're questing right so there's it's like a chain reaction sometimes with questing good to know for everyone i think it's very good info that everyone needs to hold on to i'm very proud of myself that i thought about how to say that <laughs> okay okay that was a joke all right but moving on not a joke on what i told you about a joke on me being silly <laughs> but have, yeah moving on all right so let's talk about where we go next so again so levels 5 to 15 there's a few regions i'm going to just overview them right and you can go back and check in my in-depth map video to see all the different maps and i'm not going to show you every map um so the shire and hobbits here that's 5 to 15 levels 
Breland is from level 5 to 15, 15 questing area. Arid Lewin, the Elven and Dwarven area is from level 5 to 15. Your next areas that you can choose from are going to be from level 12 to 20. There's also questing in Breland from that. That's level 12 to 16, 12 to 18. Those are different areas. Book, and again, the quest levels called from Lotro Wiki. This very helpful this is where i'm getting a lot of this info you guys again i'm either getting this info out of my brain because i've played this game for way too long or i'm using this wiki thing to help with the numbers because it's i know the areas to go naturally but i don't know if i can't just shout out the level numbers to you guys from the top of my head i just know because i played the game so long i'm like oh i need to go this area now right like and this quest leads to that area blah 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 right i know that stuff but i'm trying to help you guys if you're brand new to this game or you just need a refresher in lord of the rings online where to quest right because there's a lot going on in the game Especially now that it's a lot older and it's a lot bigger, the game, and a lot of more area to cover. Not to mention the level cap is 130 instead of 150 now. I mean, it's 130 instead of 50 now. <laughs> you got a bunch more levels on there now. Um, so, then the next area will be going after Breland in Book 1. So, Book 1 is going to be in Breland. Buckland, Old Forest, Southern Breland, and Barrow Downs are all going to be level 12 to 16. Then from level 15 to 22, we're going to be in the Lone Lands. This is going to be this side. Then the West uh, Weathertop and Oscuro within the book two, I believe, is all within level 20. It's going to be level 15 to 20 as well. Now you're going to be into your levels 20 to 25. This is also going to be the end of the Lone Lands, some of this area. But then you're going to be basically moving to the North Downs. North Downs. Trussell Bridge is from 20 to 25 area. And then, so is this area, Nan uh, Wathrin. The Great Barrows in Breland. It's a little hint, hint. It's saying if you go back to Breland for the questing, it's level 22 to 24. You went down back to this Breland area. Both these areas are for that. <coughs> now level 25 to 30 when you're leveling up, that's going to be Fornost and the Kingfells in the North Downs. So this area, 25 um, to 29, it says these areas. The Lone Lands Book 2 is 26 to 29. Now again, you don't need to be jumping back and forth, guys. If you're following the book and jump going to each city where they give you the next quest to each city, they will give you the next quest. For example, if you're doing the books in the Lone Lands for the chapter, usually you want to finish those chapter books in the same area as like the quest for the Forsaken Inn, because the Forsaken Inn is probably going to give you a quest to go to Oskuruth, and then you're going to find out the chapter books are also going to give you a quest to go to Oskuruth. So if you finish all the quests in Forsaken Inn, and you don't finish the chapter books, this is Weathertop, you help a ranger there, what's going to happen is you're going to be at Oskuruth, and then you're going to go back and do this, and you're going to realize later when you're finished Oskuruth, that you should have finished this chapter quest, because you have to go back to Oskuruth again and help Radagast in Oskuruth, right? And then, so you'll be off. So you need to make sure you do the quest in the area you're at. So, like, even with the book, think about, you need to think about the book and the quest in the area so that the people are giving you to help, you know, kill goblins, collect supplies. You know what I mean? There's, there's different kinds. There's quests that are basic quests. There's class quests, which are very, not very common. They're at certain levels, you earn them from certain people. Um... But really, it's the main quest, just quests in every region. And then there's the chapter books and prologues, which are very important. That you have to kind of keep streamlined with your normal questing, right? With your normal areas you're questing in. Um, so now, back to where I was. I just had to give you that guys that info because I realized that's really important to think about. So you really need to think about that. Think about, look at your quest tracker. Look, okay, that love, those quests are getting a little low level for me. But don't delete the chapter quests, you guys. If they're grayed out and they're like 10 levels below you, don't delete them. Just go do them later. Because chapter quests kind of take you in a chain through the whole game to max level. So you're going to keep getting them, right? So you have to finish those to get to the next ones. So that's a good thing to remember, too. Like, it's good to not be always a completionist. You can be. If you want to get deeds done and get quests done in every area. Because if you want to know about deeds, check out my video on deeds, right? Deeds and stuff. But um, if you want to be completionist, you can. But if you're trying to get to the game level quickly... You need to think about where you're at in levels. Make sure you're doing the chapters with the areas. Make sure they're not really below you. Let's say you're at Trestle Bridge and you're, most of the quests you're picking up are grayed out quests. Again, they're going to give you quests to go to here. Sometimes you have to do them anyway. But if you want the chain quest, but a lot of times you can just go to the next place and they will just have quests there already that you can do. As long as the chapter has also sent you there, right? So that's good to know. Anyway, book two is between level 25 and 30. And the fields of Fornos, the Kingfellas, the North Downs, and the Lowlands. That's all that. Evendim and Oth Othbarton. So if we go over here, this is also going to be between level 25 and 30. It's going to be from 27 to 29 is Evendim. North Downs on the right side in the book 3 is level 28 to 31. This side, book 3. And then uh, the Lowlands 
also has a, about level to level 30 over here at the right side this area this there's like an instance area up here but you don't really need to worry about that a lot of times i skip this area because by the time you're already like high level you can go to off barton and evan dim or north downs trussell bridge and you'll be fine at that level that's what i normally do that's what i suggest you do right because right now i'm trying to streamline so you had to streamline your questing so even i'm telling you a lot of these places you don't have to do all these places you know what i mean normally what i do is i go boom boom i skip the shire i don't even do the shire i do quest in breland i go to lone lands do that do oscar Ruth. skip that northern part of oscar Ruth. i do maybe uh head up to north down trestle bridge s delden then sometimes i'll go over and do um the troll shaws uh, get to Rivendell. They'll send me to Evendim. I'll do a little off Barton. Usually I skip off Barton. I did it in my main playlist because it's got really cool questing for stories and voiceovers. But a lot of times I'll just jump up and do stuff in uh, Tenudir. And then by then you're already in like level 40 something. And then now, now, okay, now that's my normal questing path, right, that I do. Level 35, you can mix it up. You can mix it up too, guys. You can do whatever questing path you want. I'm not giving you, you can do whatever you want. I'm just telling you what I do normally to make it fast 35 to 40 this is what i just told you right i literally just told you at the end of it the troll shaws is level 35 to 36 the one side evan dim the lake part the new to new year and stuff level 35 to 40 the northern side of the i mean the right side of the troll shaws 38 to 40 36 to 40 level ish uh the north downs uh the fornos instances are level 36 to that um the right side of the troll shaws has book four in it it's level 37 to 41. We just finished this in our main playlist, Load Your Tail. Check out that playlist, you guys. Please remember to like and subscribe and share the videos, too. It really helps me out a lot. Um, these are the guide ones, again. If you want the more fun ones, it's Load Your Tail. But this, if you're here, you're here to learn how to do the questing right in the right order. So next area, level 45, uh, level 40 to 45 areas, the Misty Mountains. The Misty Mountains is level 39 to 43. The Northern uh, Troll Shaws also has a little area on the North Troll Shaws. It's level 41. Agmar, you can start Agmar at this point. The front part here at the bottom is level 40 to 42 ish. There's also some other area. There's an instance in Troll Shaws, uh, the southern Troll Shaws down here. You could do it's level 40 to 45. Again, you can find all this. I have the link to this wiki that I'm show, getting this info from, right? It's quicker, right? Again, I don't ever do Tall Bruna. I, I don't think it's really needed. Like, you'll be plenty leveled by other places by then. Because um, Agmar, then you can move into 33. Three and 34 over here uh, 44 and then you can go up to four shell this is going to be between level 44 45 this whole area and then level 45 quest it says leading to hell the raid it's all over right so agmar uh you know misty mountains four shell you could be all doing all these areas for level 45 i believe also this is a little unupdated but i believe a region oh no that's 51 never mind the misty mountains book five um is in that level 45 the um so now level 45 to 50 okay so this is the last little bit right this is the original before the expansions came out the high pass of the misty mountains no, not the animorphs the misty mountains the high pass this area is going to be level 45 to 48 i do like to do these areas with glowing there's a lot of fun quests up here but agmar has book six in it 45 to 46 you're doing stuff up here um now you can go to a region down here in front of moria that's going to be from level 45 to 50. You could be heading that area. Also 45 to 50, Northern Forest Shell. You could be doing that area. So you could skip Forest Shell and do a region, or you could skip a region, do Forest Shell, and then move straight into Moria later, right? So that's going to, Moria is level 50 to 60, the whole Moria. Uh, Agmar also has some Northern areas, 48, 48, right? The Misty Mountains, Goblin Town's level 48 to 50. Up in the Misty Mountains, there's an instance. Um, Agmar, um, Himber, Book 7, Car Doom instances, they're all level 49 to 50. Book seven, right? All right, now it's so level 50, right? So now there's a lot in level 50. Again, Agmar, book eight. Agmar and Evendim, book nine, is level 50. Evendim, book 10. Evendim and the Troll Shaws, book 11. Um, so you need to be doing these, right? So you could be doing these ahead. You don't have to be level 50. You could start this at level 46, 47, right? And start doing these. And then by the time you're done with these chapters, you could skip all the regions in those areas. You'll probably be level 51, 52 anyway, right? That's good to know. Um, book 12 is an Agmar. Forest Shell has book 13. Um, Evendim and Numina, uh, Numinous instances are level 50. Agmar, Bera, Agmar instances, another Anuminous instance. This is uh, this place. These are level 50 instances. It used to be like a big area, right? Numinous. And then uh, Barad Gulerth. Uh, Agmar is the Rift. Very cool raid. Level 50. 
really awesome. Heligrod, another amazing raid in the Misty Mountains originally. That is level 50. So now we are done with that area. We're moving on to more leveling, right, for later on. So now we are going to move into Moria, right? So a region's level, again, 48 to 50. And now we're going to pass into the Walls of Moria, into Durin's Door, into the Moria. Moria, this is rather this will be rather quick and simple. Just follow the quest lines and the chapters. It's real simple. And just follow stuff around. You can skip some things. If you remember if you check your level and you're saying, Oh, I'm a little you know, I don't really need to help that guy, you know, clean out that water wheel or whatever down the waterworks because I'm already a level above that. So I'm just gonna follow the chapter on to the next area. You can totally do that. That that's great. Do whatever you want. So Mines of Moria. 21st hall, level 51 to 60, the whole area, the 21st hall is in the center, but basically all of the mines of Moria. It's just telling you each of these places. I can actually break it down if you want. Um, I'm going to link this other link, so it's called Zones by Level. So there's two different articles I'm using from Little Ultra Wiki. Zones by Level and Quest Levels. I'm getting a lot of the generalist stuff from Quest Levels, and I'm getting a lot of the... The, pss, pss, ugh, the word. Pss, ugh, specific. There it is. Ugh. Almost butchered it, but I got it. Um, zones by level, right? So that, uh, let's see, for some Moria, the Great Delving is going to be level 51. Silver Load is going to be 52. Durn's Way is going to be level 53. Um, this place up here is a combination of a couple small quests, 53 to 54. The Water Rex is level 54. Zelik Melik right here. Um, that is going to be level 55. The Red Horde Loans is level 56. The Flaming Deep is 57. Noel Melek, this area is level 58. The Foundation is level 59. And then when you go out to Lothlorien, that's going to be your level 60 area, where you get level 60, right? When you go to then, now this is where they really started streamlining things from Ariador, from right when they're, they're adding expansions. When you go to Mirkwood, eh, well, let me go to Southern Mirkwood. Let's go up and go to Southern Mirkwood. <coughs> Southern Mirkwood is going to be level 60 to 65, right? And then also, you could also pop back and go to Evendim, go to the um, Etawaith, and it is also level 61 to 65. So you have two options. Then you can go down to Dunland. Dunland is level um, 50, uh, 65 to 75, and Isengard and all this. There's a lot going on in this in this place, right? There's a whole lot in Dunland. A lot of stuff going on. Gap of Rohan, you know, Isengard, a whole lot of stuff, right? So I'm not going to completely break this area up. I'm going to continue to follow our quest level thing, right? So again, Dunland is level 66 um, to 57. The Edoweth is 60 to 65. This is actually giving me slightly different numbers from the quest level from the zone by level. So interesting. They're kind of giving generalized stuff with the quest levels in the wiki and the other stuff. But we'll continue on. So level 70, right? 71 to 75 is the Great River. That is going to be located in Rovanian right here. <coughs> that is this area and then east rohan this area is going to be and these are all miniature areas like uh the wold is up here with Har harwick and stuff and they, they like expand right i'm left clicking to zoom in on the ones that light up and right clicking to zoom out farther out on the map on bigger scale right um so eastern rohan is level 75 to 85 this area this is also where you get your warm out when you start warm out up in harwick up here and then the Wildermore up here is level 85 area. Now, 85 to 90 is going to be the Kingstead East Fold. So we're going to go over... Um, wait. Um, we are still in the... Let's see. I think go over to West Rohan. Yes, here we go. West Fold, East Fold, right? Oh, wait. East Fold. So again, this is level 85 to 95, basically this whole area. Right, all these dis different areas, and they mix. They go um, Kingstead, which is right here in the middle, is 85 to 95, and then you kind of just these. These are all kind of similar levels. This whole area, up to a 95. The Entwood, the Entwood up here is actually at level 95, and the Westfold is 195. This area, so these areas will get you to, to 95. Um, there's a lot of quests. You can pick and choose stuff, guys, but you will have to do most of Rohan. To get there again you can go back and do quests at a little lower level in other places too to help you out if you want to do that so level 95 to 100 guys western gondor this is when they added gondor back in the day so you go down here you go to western gondor you're you're helping the get to the end of the, the you're in like the you just finished at this point 
the two towers, basically, in this, in where you are in the lore of the story, you're moving into the Return of the King, you're getting ready for the Return of the King movie, right? That's what's happening by this time in where you're leveling. There's kind of, while you level, there's kind of a time dilation happening where you're actually kind of following the Fellowship, mirroring them. So it's kind of very interesting to think about. So we have Western Gondor. Western Gondor, the Blackroot Vale, and all these different areas. Level 95 to 97, 97 to 98, 98 to 100 is the Cape of Belfast in this area. There's um, the Haven of Belfast. Also down here is the Housing District. If you're interested in that kind of stuff. The, pri the Premium Housing District, right? You can get the normal ones for normal. Now for level 100. A lot. There was a lot in level 100, right? All of this. Central Gondor. The Dead Marshes, which are around here somewhere. Couldn't find them the other day, but in my other video. But there, I think you have to actually... Oh, look, there they are. How tricky is that? All right, well, in the last video, you were watching the last video, I couldn't find the Dead Marshes. Here's the Dead Marshes. They're just above the waist. I knew they were close. For some reason, you just... It doesn't have the actual, like, interesting. It's, like, right next to it, the button. It's funny. Versus the waist. All right, sorry. I'm getting distracted. Figured that out now. Good, good, good. Well, now you know from the last video. <laughs> if you watched the last one, which you should check out. It's an advanced map video. We went over almost every map. It's very, very fun. And we did a lot of, lot of learning. Um, so all of Central Gondor is level 100. All of Eastern Gondor is level 100. So all of this is level 100 stuff. Again, now the max level is 130. You could be leveling past 100 with these areas as well, you guys. You don't have to be doing it. Epic Battles are for 100 from Old Norian. All that kind of stuff. So now 100 to 105 is Far Anorian when it was added, which is this area, which is where the beacons are and stuff. So that's where you do level 105. And then also Athelion and the Wastes are going to be up to 105, right? In the Dead Marshes. These are going to be where... This is where you're helping Aragorn prepare for the Battle of the Black Gate, basically. You've At this point, you've gone through the books so much. Again, the whole time, you guys, you should be doing the books. It's not telling us about the books on this wiki page, because I think someone hasn't updated it, but they've been books this whole time. We're way into the story, right? We might even be in the black... It's called the Black Book later, once you get to the main chapters. And the deed logs will help you follow that stuff. If you go to the deed log, and again, I do a video on deeds... But I didn't do an advanced one on doing the deed. I did, it was pretty in-depth <laughs> deed log. But you can go to the Gondor, Mordor. Oh, I'm trying to remember where it's at. Is that another world wall? I think it's class race epic, I believe. And then if I click completed, is that where? I'm trying to find where the original, like, reputation, epic, race. Oh, we got some fancy music starting up next to us here. Oh, I have a little orchestra behind us. Sweet. You can listen to that while I finish my video here. Yes, yes, yes. Let's uh, balance the sound a little bit, though. There. Sweet. We got a little music going in the background. All right. Cool. Ooh, it's like a nice little medieval jig. I like it. A renaissance. <laughs> Getting distracted by the good music. All right. So 105 is the wastes again, right, in this area. So now, 105 to 115. This is when Mordor came out, you guys. So, Und, um, uh, Uin, or let's see, um, Unden, this front area here. This is going to be level 105 to 107. Dol Amarth, which is right here, it's going to be uh, 107 to 109. 110, these, when you start allegiance quests, it's allegiance system. I could do a video on allegiance systems. I mentioned it in one of my other videos, my guides. I think I want to do it on. It's basically real simple. You basically just do quests for certain factions, whether it be like the humans Aragon or King um, uh, Durin the Sixth, right? Right now, after Dane Ironfoot, his son basically, and his grandson is uh, Thorin. Or no, no, no. I'm sorry. You do it for King Thorin Third Stonehelm, and you're helping his son Prince Durin the Sixth, which is the gr yeah. That's that's correct. <laughs> I said it backwards. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, Lingen, uh, over, let's see, 109 to 111 is this area right, where is it? Why can't I see this? Oh, it's this area. This, it's like where the Sirith Ungle is. And then, um, which is kind of interesting and cool. So that's what you do that. And then tell us this place is 112 to 113 area. And then this area over here is going to be your 114 to 115. How you get to the 115 cap. Now if you're going to 115 to 120, you have to go to the new expansion areas to the north of Rovanian up here. 
and you're gonna do um, this area first, right in the front, I believe. The Dale Lands, yeah. So basically, this front area is gonna start you off, and it's gonna be 115. Area Bore is gonna be 115. The Dale Lands is all gonna be 115. The Iron Hills is gonna be 116 to 117 levels. And then Arid Mithrin with the Wastes, if you go up to the north above Northern Mirkwood and Area Bore to Arid Mithrin, the Grey Mountains, this area is going to be for your level 117 to 120. And then if you go to the Vales of Anduil, um, right here, this area is going to be from level 117 to 120 where Bioring is. And then the Gladenmere and all these places, 120. The Entomores area is 130. They have not updated the <laughs> yeah so that that's basically how you're going to be able to get to 130 right um again if you want to actually get to 130 though they didn't update this but if we go over to this one yes to the areas and zones well um lang flood so basically you go just north and you can do this area of the wells of lang flood flood um, this area is going to be basically doing your 125 to 130 ish. The Elder Slays is also going to be an area up to 130, right? And then they also added down back in Mordor, they added the Minas Morgul, and this area is also going to be probably 125 to 130. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That's that's about does it for the levels. We did it, you guys. We did it. Look at these guys with their little music orchestra going on. How cool is that? The coolest. We got a little orchestra for our video. Um, <laughs> little band group. They're all dressed up. These are all real players, by the way, playing this song together. Pretty awesome. The music system was awesome in this game. I have a how-to guide and how to do the music system. Uh, on the same uh, thing, I went in depth to do it for you guys. So check that out. Check that out. Please do like and subscribe to the video. There'll be a subscribe button right here. There'll be another playlist, uh, another episode of the playlist up there, and then below there will be our main place to let your voice. I don't know. A Lotro tale, I mean, not a voice. This is Voice of the Rings channel. And check them out, you guys. They're really awesome. Please share and subscribe and like. That really helps me out. It means a lot to me. Leave a comment if you liked it, too. That means a lot, too. And I appreciate it. And you guys have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. And check out my other videos. And I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield. And I'll see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings, my friend. Have a good day in Middle Earth. Later.